One really cool web technology is something called AJAX. And AJAX stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. And if you don't know what that means, it just basically means that cool things happen, huh? <laughs> Let me give you an example. In this movie, you'll fade in and fade out text using this AJAX technology. And when the text fades in and fades out, it won't require a browser refresh. So you can change things on a web page without refreshing the browser. And that's what the asynchronous part of AJAX stands for. So things that happen without, that don't require a browser refresh. So like I said, in this movie, you'll learn how to work with AJAX using something called the Spry Framework. And that's something really cool built into Dreamweaver CS3. So let's just examine this file. It's a very simple HTML file, just used from the template for the All Things Adobe podcast site. And I just have some headers, and I have these two buttons that I just put names on. There's nothing special. And then I have two div tags with some text in them. If you don't know how to create a div tag, you just select some text, and then you click the Insert Div Tag button. You can find it in the common category of the Insert Bar. All right, I created some IDs for these divs, and I added some very simple CSS to them. So let's just take a look at that. Div 1 and Div 2. They have the visibility property set to hidden. So that means you won't see them at first. That's both for div 1 and div 2. So let's preview this in a browser to check to see what it looks like. Click yes to save the changes. I pressed F12, by the way, to preview in a browser. And so we just see the div 1 and div 2 buttons. They don't do anything yet. But the text is not visible. So let's close this out. And we will fade in and fade out the text. It's actually fairly easy. Click on the Div 1 button. Also notice in the Properties Inspector I set the action to None, so you might want to do that too. I'm going to close the CSS panel set, open up the Tag Inspector panel set, and click the Behaviors tab and click the Plus button. The hidden menu item that shows all the AJAX secrets is under Effects, so click Effects, and then we'll select appear slash fade and this is just one in this movie we'll only take a look at one and you can feel free to experiment with the others on your own alright so Dreamweaver asks us a few things target element and that's gonna be whatever div we want to target with this effect and we want to target div 1 with the div 1 button so just click the drop down and it's nice and easy just click div div 1 effect duration a thousand milliseconds or one second effect fade that's fine and we'll fade from 0 to 100 because we don't need to fade it from 100 to 0 because it's already at 0 percent and that's the percentage of visibility let's check the toggle effect button so when we click div 1 it'll fade in click it again it'll fade out let's click OK and we'll apply the same thing to the div 2 buttons click on the div 2 button let's go to the behaviors panel select effects choose appear slash fade choose div 2 in the target element drop down and we'll go from 0 to 100 again and then select toggle effect click OK save the file using control or command S and we'll preview in a browser using F12 alright click the div 1 button text fades in for div 1 click the div 2 button the div 2 text fades in and I click the buttons again and notice that they fade out Nice, huh? You didn't have to type anything. It's great. Let's close the browser window. So there's just a look at one aspect of the Spry framework for Ajax in Dreamweaver CS3. I'd encourage you to go through the other effects and try them out and, and see what happens. Have fun.